Hey everyone, question, have you ever put on a shirt or a piece of clothing that you've kept in a closet for like nine months and then you put it on and it has this little distinct smell? Yeah, this is it. So as the title of this video say, you probably think I'm crazy to be talking about this. But actually, no. I actually drafted this script back in May to share my thoughts and experience after I started working from home for a while and I've gone back to work. I know it's really strange for me to say that COVID was good, anything good out of COVID, but sometimes I like to look at the bright side of things. It's not always a dark thing um, all the time. If, we, if we're able to look for the good and the bad, um, our outlook on life will be a little better. First, let me start by saying that I know COVID had caused a lot of families to lose a lot of things. People have lost their jobs. People have lost loved ones, have lost their household. Students have not been able to go to school. People have not been able to graduate from school. Football is not the same anymore. There's no tailgating. Fans can't go to the games. Businesses have to close doors because of the lack of business. I understand that that is terrible. However, as things start to pick up again, I thought about some of these things that, that have changed my life for the better during COVID-19 that, that I think it's good to share. I think it's important for us all to look at the positive of things in life as opposed to the negative because it will change our perspectives, it will change our attitudes, it will change how we look at things. It will help us be better. I believe that one day the economy will be booming again, we'll be going back to our normal lives and I hope that day is soon. However, here are a few things that has happened to me personally that I would consider are good. One thing that has been good to me is I had the opportunity to work from home. And for this instance, I wanna talk strictly about working from home and how I consider that to be good. One, I know that I was blessed enough to have a job that allowed me to work from home when this first all started, as opposed to losing my job. I've always wanted to know what working from home is like. I've seen a lot of programmers, graphic designers, people with different professions who are able to work from home, tech writers and all that. I've always thought it was cool. I mean, I think it's the coolest thing ever to be able to work from home. But after working from home for two, two or three months, I'm starting to have a little second thought about how cool that is. Don't get me wrong. If you watch this video, a day of the life of a mechanical engineer working from home edition here, um, you know that I love being able to walk into my office at 7.55, dress in my pajamas, ready to work. Hey, so it's 8 a.m. I'm officially at work. Got all dressed for work and everything. I could have my breakfast and my coffee with me. I mean, perfect. Then I love being able to at 12, 12.30, go to my kitchen, make some lunch, eat it, and go back to work. As opposed to having to pack lunch, heat lunch up, and stuff like that. I could eat foods that I can't eat at work. I love being able to go to my mailbox at 3 p.m. when the mail comes in my pajamas. I love being able to walk to my fridge whenever I want, get some milk, get some sweet tea, get some Cokes, get some water, get some snacks, and come back to work. I love all the convenience that comes with working, working from home. However, after a few months of doing that, I miss the human interactions. I miss being able to talk to people, shake hands, say hey, say how are you doing as I walk down the hall. I miss that interaction. Also, working from home has made me less inspired to create, especially for this YouTube channel. When I go to work every day, I get up at 5.30, I work on videos until it's time to get ready. I come home, sometimes I work at night, when I work from home, I'm in my office from eight to five every day. It makes me less desire to want to be in my office for other times because I'm in here all day. So I lose that want to work, that creativity to work in my office for this YouTube channel, if that makes any sense. One good thing though, is working from home has allowed me to spend more time with my wife. And that is definitely a positive. To clarify, in case my boss would have watched this video, what I mean is I still work from eight to five every day but it allows me time to eat breakfast, eat lunch with my wife. Usually, when I'm at work, I would eat lunch at my desk and then I go back to work because there's nothing to do. Sometimes I surf the internet, sometimes I go for a walk, sometimes I take a ride just to get out of the place. But most of the time, I just work at my desk and eat through lunch. 
When I'm at home, I can walk into my kitchen, as I said, make some lunch, eat it with my wife, and go back to work. That's an extra hour I could spend with Margaret. So that's a pause. Also, it gives me a different perspective of what Margaret does when she's at home. It shows me how she can rest three straight days of work. That's hard. It shows me how much she cleans around the house, what that looks like, how, when she vacuums, when she, when she does this, when she does that. It gives me a deeper appreciation for what she does. More important, well, actually second importantly, if you follow me on Instagram, which I think you should, it's right here. You know I love my cat and he's on there all the time. He's cute, he's soft. So working at home has allowed me to bond with him a little more. He would come to my office when I'm working, sit in the windows and watch outside for hours. Or he'd sit at my feet, or he'd take a nap in the corner, and um, he would walk by and rub my feet, and I just love that. Anyways, that's enough about work. COVID has also taught us a few things in different areas outside of work. For example, budget. COVID has taught us after 14 months of being married, because of COVID, we were under budget for the first time in 14 months. Believe it or not, as a couple, we do have a budget, and we do try to stick to it and we have never been under the budget because we're always overspent on food, on gas, on something. We are currently, both of us are currently living on one income right now, and that is a discipline that, that we agreed upon to do. It allows us to save the extra income for the house, for extra bills, for something that comes up, but also it teaches us to live on one income so when Margaret doesn't work anymore after we have a baby or two, that we are not used to the lavish lifestyle. We're used to the living on one income lifestyle. So that should help us out in the future. Do you have any interest in us teaching you how to live on one income? If you do, leave a comment down below, like this video, and we'll make that video. We'll give you a budget, give you a breakdown of the budget and how to live on one income. It is, it requires a lot of discipline, but it's doable. And, and there's some reason why we were under budget for the first, uh, for why we're under budget. First off, gas. Since because I don't go to work anymore and Margaret drives two miles to work, we barely go to the stores, we don't go out, we don't go see anybody, we just don't drive. So for the whole month, I was on one tank of gas, if not more. And with gas being so cheap, because no one's driving, no one, no one is going anywhere, no one's going to work, gas was under a dollar. So we save a lot of money there. Our gas bill used to be $150 a month and now it's like $30 food. We didn't buy up all the food like all the people did for two reasons. One, we don't have the room to store it. And two, we, we feel like we should leave it for other people who can't make it there when we go. When we go. So we live on the necessities of things. Portions it back out, only cook what's necessary, we only buy what's necessary. And we cut our trips from multiple times a week to one trip per week. And we only buy the necessity because we don't know when we're gonna lose our jobs and we need that money. On the other hand, electricity and power bill went up a little bit simply because we hear more we spend more however you know it happens at a good time of the year where we don't have to run the air because it's cool outside we don't have to water the grass because the grass is not growing so we did cut back in those areas so it's a good time for that however the home improvement budget was way up you've seen our vegetable garden video you've seen us put mulch outside i mean these things are just expensive when the state was gonna shut down everything, I went to Lowe's and I bought some home woodworking project. So I worked on those during the weekend. Hey everybody, it's John from the future here and I want to add to this video that another good things that for me personally that came out of this COVID-19 situation was I was able to learn to cook some more um, Vietnamese stuff that I'd never had a chance to. Some of it is because the ingredients that I used is not very pleasant for Americans, so it's good that when I'm home, I could eat it while I'm here. Another reason would be, you've probably seen some of these videos before, the bitter melon, the sour soup. If you haven't seen those, um, I hope you check them out. Lastly, a few other items that I would be considered good for me is I learned a new editing software. Before COVID, I was editing on Premiere Pro. During COVID, I learned how to edit on Final Cut Pro. If you are an editor, it, you know what that means. If you're not, it's like, learning to drive a Camry versus learning to drive a Honda. So um, just different tools for me to use. So all these videos since March has been edited on Final Cut Pro. I learned a new trait. I know how to recock my bathroom now. It was leaking. So during this time, I recocked the whole bathroom, which was good. Then I also recocked the other bathroom because I had the tools to do it. 
So I did that too. So, but lastly, one thing that I learned during COVID was I was not very careful as far as being healthy and clean and all that before as I should. What I mean is even during the flu season, since I've never had the flu, and I know I'm talking about it now, and I'll have the flu this year. Since I've never had the flu, you know, I wash my hands when I use the bathroom, but other than that, when I go to the back of the factory and come back, I don't wash my hands. I don't use hand sanitizer. I don't wipe it down. I don't wipe down my stuff. During COVID, I wipe down everything I touch before I hand it to the next person. He wipes down everything he touches before he hands it to me. And, you know, we leave the store, we wipe everything down, our keys, our phone, the, you know, the handles on the car. We wipe the groceries down before we bring it inside our house. I mean, so that's probably a little too extreme. But then on the other hand, I wasn't very good before. So that allows me to bring it in the middle a little bit. So I learned a lot basically during this whole COVID-19 situation. And those are the good things that I would say that came out of it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. If there's anything that, that's good that happened to you through this, um, leave a comment down below. Let me know. And if there's anything bad that happened, leave a comment down below. And so I know to pray for you. Anyways, if you're new here, I'm glad you're here. I hope you subscribe and come back. If you've been here before, thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.